When MacArthur needed an airfield on an island in the South Pacific, he called on the man who lays here. When Eisenhower needed a bridge to cross the Rhine into Germany, he called on the man who lays here. When the country needed an interstate highway system to move millions, when a young evangelist needed help to move men, he called on the man who lays here. His name was R.G. Letourneau. With a sixth grade education, he took a correspondence course, taught himself electrical and mechanical engineering, started a small business moving dirt. At that time, of course, roads were built by crews of men, dozens upon dozens of men using shovels and pickaxes and dynamite were building roads. He thought, well, surely I can develop a machine where one machine can do what a thousand men can do in a given day. Then the war began. 70% uh, of all the earth-moving equipment used in World War II were Letourneau machines. It was called the Engineer's War, and three-quarters of the earth moved was moved by a Letourneau machine. Almost all the airports built throughout the South Pacific that were so critical to the Allied success were the result of Letourneau's machinery. Then, in 1946, R.G., already a multimillionaire, wanted to build a factory in East Texas near Lone Star Steel but he needed skilled manpower to run it. His factories across the street, he found this great campus here and thought, why not develop a school to train these men how to use their hands to build earth moving equipment. Letourneau Technical Institute of Texas was born and the earth movers just kept getting bigger. Almost every machine that he built was the largest for its purpose. Then the next one that he built was always bigger, always bigger. And it wasn't just Earth. In the 1960s, he created the first mobile offshore oil rig for a company run by George Bush Sr. He was one of the most successful and wealthiest men in America, but his passion went way beyond making money. He could not help but share the love of God with his workers. A deeply devoted Christian with a heart for men, R.G. would hold Bible studies on his factory floors. Then, in the early 50s, he meets a young evangelist named Billy Graham. Think early 1950s, think crusade, think Billy Graham, think that. Shall we pray? Billy Graham needed a place to hold a massive crusade in London. Letourneau designed and built this huge aluminum dome. So he called uh, Mr. Letourneau and said, sorry, can't use it, I found a place. So R.G. just never took it down. In fact, he built four more, and today all five still stand in the place where the largest earth movers in the world are still being built. R.G. Letourneau built the largest earth moving piece of equipment uh, ever built right here in Longview, Texas at this plant. Across the street from one of the country's most respected engineering and aviation universities. The place where R.G. Letourneau was laid to rest in 1969 and remains today next to his wife. In his last years, he spent most of his time and money preaching, sharing his love for Christ, funding missionaries and missions around the world. Where he built an endowment of over $40 million, of which 90% he gave away during his lifetime. And thus the title R.G. Letourneau, Mover of Men and Mountains. I am equipped, I'm designed by God of all things with dirt, with dirt. And so he took this great passion and giftedness and thought, you know what? I'm gonna use this for the glory of God.